Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you the way that I curl my hair. It's really easy, really fast. Um, it's going to help your curls stay all day long. When I'm curling my hair, I use this technique. I may switch up the wand every once in a while to create a different style to a smaller or a larger wand. Today I'm going to be using my, I believe it's a one and a half inch curling iron. I'm not really sure. started with freshly washed hair. Um, I did add some argan oil. It's one of my essential items to use during the winter. So I add this to the very ends of my hair. If you want to know a little bit more about this, check out the blog. The link will be down below. This is actually a flat iron spray, but I like to use this in my hair almost all the way dry. I spray it on a little bit and then I finish drying my hair. I don't really like to put it directly on my hair while I'm either flat ironing or curling. I just like to put it on beforehand. It actually also helps. This also does help too from the heat of the blow dryer too. So anyways, my hair is blow dried. It's kind of crazy. Easiest way to curl my hair, my favorite way. So I'm going to start by pulling back probably two, four, two thirds of my hair and clipping it up. I just kind of start right above my ear and go back. Typically, um, I feel like the kind of normal way that people think to curl their hair is by pulling it down on the end, curling it all the way up, and letting it go. Now, I mean, that curls it, obviously, but the way that I curl my hair, I'll show you on this other side, I like to start kind of at the top and curl it leaving this tail out and then sliding it down halfway, curling it back up, and then sliding it down the whole way and curling it back up. Now this is going to help, it's gonna fall. This is gonna help the entire strand to be curled rather than just the bottom tightly curled and like nothing at the top. But I like to start just on one side and go all the way around my head um, curling and I will show you that. I do also curl away from my face so I'll cur curl towards the back on this side and then towards the back on this side too. It's going to create more of a loose wave um, rather than a tight curl like you could um, create with a smaller curling iron. So next I'm going to take it kind of from my temples back. I have really thick hair so I have to do this in three layers. If you have um, a little bit thinner of hair you could probably just do it in two but I tend to have to do it in three. So then I'm going to do the exact same thing on this layer. So again, I'm going to show you again on another strand. I just kind of take it to about there, curl it all the way up, and I still have all of this. Take it down, curl it all the way up, take it all the way to the end, and get it all the way up there. And see, it just, I don't know, it curls the entire strand rather than just the bottom. wavy look. It's really kind of nice because you don't even have to hold the curling iron on there for very long so it's not going to take you long to do this style at all. Especially if you have a little bit thinner of hair. trick 
you can use to get a little bit more volume um, with a large curling iron kind of like this all you gotta do take your top pieces and kind of just lay them over I'm pulling a little bit tight on them and it's gonna lift your hair just a little bit just kind of a quick and easy way to add a little bit more volume okay so we're all curled and I'm gonna finish it off with some hairspray and actually a little bit of my serum here I'm just gonna add probably two little squirts of it rub it in my hands and I like to just kind of get it on my ends pull it around my face just a little bit this is also going to help with um, keeping your hair moisturized through the winter months it's kind of snowy outside today so I want to keep my hair as moisturized as I can get it this is a great thing to keep in your purse um, if you're out with your you know your big winter coat or scarf it's gonna make your hair a little bit staticky if you're in and out of a car shopping whatever um, just spray just one little squirt in your hand and it'll help get the flyaways away and any static put it around your face so your hair isn't kind of clinging all over your face most of the time I don't use hairspray just because I don't mind if it falls out a little bit and it's just kind of more of a wavy. Um, it doesn't stay this bouncy if I don't use hairspray, but most of the time I, I don't really care anyways. If you are wanting to keep it all day long and really want to try and keep um, your curls how they are when you first get done curling them, you'll want to at least spray them a little bit. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I hope it helps. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them below. I don't know if I addressed everything that I was wanting to say, but hopefully I did. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!